Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is A Message for the Whole World. Our opening scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians 5, 14 to 15. And it says, For the love of Christ constraineth us, because with us judge, that if one died for all, then we're all dead. And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Hallelujah. Did you know that God isn't counting the sins of men against them? Pastor begins. He isn't because Jesus already died for everybody. I thought he died for Christians. Someone might ask. No, it was for the whole world. Praise God. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19 of the NIV says that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. Hallelujah. Observe that it says God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Why? It's because Jesus paid for everybody when Jesus died, every one of us died in him. In the mind of justice, we were in him in his death. When God raised him up, the whole world was given the opportunity to receive eternal life, the life of righteousness. All glory to God. That's the reason our message is his gospel to the whole world. Our mission is to tell the whole world that Jesus paid for their salvation. Therefore, they don't have to die or be judged anymore. Jesus was judged for the whole world. Praise God. For everyone in the world today who hasn't been born again, eternal life is available now. All they have to do is believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, in his substitutionary act of salvation, confess the lordship of Jesus over their lives, and they'll be brought into the vital realization, experience, and union with the living Christ. Hallelujah, Pastor concludes. Father, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, Dear Father, thank you for sending Jesus to die for the whole world, thereby making it possible for everyone who believes in his substitutionary work and confesses his lordship to receive eternal life. Thank you for eternal life in me. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read 2 Corinthians 5, 18 to 20, Mark 16, 15 to 16, and 1 John 5, 13. Glory to God. So, we want to live every day of our lives, not unto ourselves, but unto Him who died for us and rose again as we proclaim the message of reconciliation to the whole world. Jesus paid for everybody, no condemnation, no judgment for anyone in Christ Jesus. Oh, glory to God. And for everyone under the sound of my voice today who hasn't yet been born again, Pastor said, eternal life is available. Yes, even now, 